I'm hiding a blanket. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the live. Welcome, welcome. It's Sunday. It's either morning, afternoon, evening or even later for some of you. So yeah, here I am hiding a blanket, drinking tea. <laughs> Yes. Hmm. No, it needs a bit more honey, I think. Oh, let's stir it and see if, if some sweetness comes up. Right. Oh, my goodness. Hi, everyone. Oh, there's Karen and there's, um, I think I saw um, Angel as well. Hi there. Oh, my goodness. And everybody else. Hi, Christine, Linda. Hello. Hello, Sylvia. Who gaat het met you? Regina, hi, hello, Hege, hello, Waleska, hi, Penny, hello, hello, Sandra, hello, hello, Wendy, iced coffee, hmm, oh, that's better, yes, hi, Susanna, hi, Luz, hi, e Ivy, hello, hi, Bridget, hello, hi, Paula, hello, Christine, yes, HRH is Ah, oh, can I can I turn it? Oh, look, and I've got the <laughs> necklaces hanging here. But look, there she is. And <clears throat> there is her blanket, and that's a tissue. <laughs> it's Layla's tissue. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, oh yeah, did I show you then? <laughs> I'm not good at things like that, am I? I want to tease. Hi Zoe. Hello, hello. I just want to tease, tease, tease. Hi Jerry. Hi Lillian. Hi Rafaela. Hello. Oh, hello, hello. Ken, hello. Mary, hello, hello. Linda, hi. Oh, and another Linda. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have lots and lots to talk about. Let me uh, change the view again. Yes, it seems to be there's quite a few Lindas tonight. <laughs> I'm not very good at hiding the blanket, am I? There we go. That's better. <laughs> anyway, in a moment, you'll all be able to see, but... First, I want to show you this combination of my necklace, which goes so well with this dress. I have, like I said, and you've probably seen in the videos, I have several summer dresses, and this is one of them. Look. <clears throat> Bad job at hiding. But look, one of the things that, look, tassels tassels on the dress so yeah it had to be uh, be bought but I really like this dress and I bought it and I wore it with a jeans jacket uh, the other day just sort of you know over and it was really good because sort of it went with it yeah so yes tassels <laughs> yes Paula you have spotted the blanket and I'm not going to hide it anymore there we are Look at this. So this is the video that's coming out this week. Yes, tassels with, I don't know, with tassels, I suppose. Look, they're tassels with tassels. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, pom-poms here. Look, I'm not too sure about these, but, yeah, they're attached. Can't remove them. <laughs> we'll keep them. <laughs> So, yes, there we go. We have got a new blanket. So, this blanket, let me show you, is made up of a hundred squares. And it's one square of every colour in the Starcraft Special DK range. You know, I started this challenge of making as many things as I possibly could with the 100 balls. I have made three blankets up to now. And guess what? 
that cabinet is still full. So the only ball that's now finished is white because I used it to join here and I did a border with it as well. So that's um, gone, but all the rest, yeah, that cabinet is still as full as anything. So this is this blanket, right? So that's a hundred um, squares. And then of course, I also made these two, uh, which I had out on display uh, last week as well. So these go back to the beginning when I started doing this challenge. There we go. So that one, oh, now it all falls down, of course. So that one is the one um, in color order. And then this one was the random one, right? So these two blankets, um, the small ones are just um, 100 rows. So one row of each color. One is in color order, the other one is just random. And then, so this week we are, I am publishing um, the lookbook. Yes, oh yes, Christine, 100 balls of yarn, use one up, 99 balls of yarn in the billy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We're gonna keep on saying that now. <laughs> so, um, the list uh, for this blanket here is on the blog, right? Um, this one was just a random. I don't know whether I did a list for that. I'm not sure. But this one here, there will be on Friday, there will be a blog post on the blog with that table. So with all the colors. So uh... well, let's have a look. <laughs> Indeed, it does look like that. Look. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who said that? <laughs> oh, love to craft. Oh, wasn't that funny, isn't it? So now it's a little bit higher. So her palm has set. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a list for the random as well. So there's two lists. Um, so <laughs> that was amazing. I mean, I hadn't even thought of that. And of course, yeah, it looks different. You know, it looks, I look at it from here. But of course, once you see it in the screen, it looks different, doesn't it? But it does, it did look like that, didn't it? So yeah, she's had her perm set. <laughs> um, so yes, there will be a video on Wednesday for the lookbook for the 100 colored blanket. And then there will be a tutorial on Friday. And that will have, of course, the square because it's a different square from what we've done before. So it's a quite a solid square just to make sure you have a nice area of color. So a solid square, that, but thank Ingrid, thank you well. Um, a solid square and then how to put it together and then of course also um, how to do the border. Now um, th these are 100 of course these 100 uh, colors of course I have them uh, we have sold uh, packs of them uh, but yes we, we do sell the individual balls and you know you can if you wanted to make complete your collection you can of course just order the ones that you've got you know that you haven't got um i am giving you these resources for example that blanket is a good samples blanket right so i have now a square of a reasonable size of each color and that helps you to get to know the colors to be able to reference them and things like that so i will give you a way of course to join um, these squares, but, but, I, oh, Ivy, that's lovely, and you know what, you can, you can make these necklaces, because they don't take long to make, do they, so you can make them for her friends, oh, that's lovely, um, so you can, um, you know, make whatever, um, so I've, 
joined it with a single crochet but I started joining differently and I am going to publish that video as well so there was another join that I wanted to do but I didn't continue with it because I just uh, <laughs> you know sometimes you think oh that's a wonderful idea and then you start doing it and then you think oh, no thank you um so yeah I changed my mind but I did keep the footage and I put it together as a video. So there is the opportunity for you to choose which one you want to join. But of course, next week we have. Um, so next week we have, sorry, next week we have the lookbook of this blanket and we have the tutorial. And then the week after we will have the invisible join that I came up with but I didn't do it. <laughs> hey, you know, sometimes I give up too. <laughs> yes, Deborah, cotton is best, to be honest. Um, it's nicer to wear as well. It doesn't itch or it doesn't get hot. So it is nice to have the cotton necklace. Um, I have done them in um, mercerized cotton. This is acrylic. Look, it's fine. I mean, depending on how you wear it, it looks fine and it feels fine. But it's just, you know, just comfort and what you have, to be honest. You can wear any, you can make it in anything, basically. Uh, so that's the, the good thing about this. Um, I do enjoy um, being able to make, you know, being able to make the coordinating colors so i thought these colors went well with the dress because of course the blue the pink and the dark the dark blue and the light blue but then of course yeah i have got a yellow one oh i think that goes as well so you know and yeah like so many um so many said, uh, you know, they're making it for their granddaughters. They're making for 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 around their set for around their glasses. You know, somebody made the um, the beads for going on the end of their glasses so they can wear them. You know, so many things that are possible, and it's so easy to make um, little presents for little girls, for party bags, for you know, all kinds of things. So you know, you can. You know, you can make them in as many colours as you want and just wear them layered like I'm doing there. You know, it 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 makes it makes an easy accessory uh, and also it makes a little bit of a you know talking point as well, maybe sometimes when you're you know sort of out and about and you you know. Yes, Linda, I think for um for, for for the glasses, it's good, isn't it? Yes. So and for the key cord, yeah. Yeah, so keep on making them. Keep showing me what you've made them into, uh, if not uh, necklaces. But I also want to see the necklaces. I've seen quite a few of your faces this week wearing the necklaces. And that is so lovely to be able to put a face to, you know, to the to the name and to what you're always making because you're always hiding behind your blankets right <laughs> so this time i thought no they can't hide <laughs> some of you still manage it <laughs> so don't be shy take a picture of yourself with your necklace and show us in the group the group is only us you know it doesn't go any further so you know yes even i saw somebody wearing it in their hair yeah look you know, if you tie it up, look. Oh, look how cute. You know, and this one is the one with less beads. That looks very stylish. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Sensational. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Anna. As rib as ribbon for your birthday presents and then of course they can be worn afterwards as necklaces christmas tree decorations you can have these instead of tinsel in your christmas tree 
See? Yeah, and bracelets as well. I'm wearing my um, normal bracelet, but yeah, I could have worn one of these. You know, so, so many possibilities. And it's so, you know, now that you've made one, easy, easy. And it's something, it's one of those things as well. If you have even leftovers of that mercerized cotton of cotton soft or just cotton, you can just have it in a bag in the car with a hook and some scissors and as an emergency crochet bag. You know, if you get caught in traffic or you forget your crochet uh, work, you could be making necklaces. So you can always, always uh, use these. And especially if you have little colours that you think that will go with any dress, you know. Mm. Yeah, the Friday one, the disc one, yeah, the solstice one as a headband. You don't have to say things like that twice to me. Right, here's the Friday one. Let's see if I can wear it as a headband. I mean, obviously you would have to do, you know, less, um... <laughs> and you'd have to be able to tie it around your hook. You'd have to make it purpose made, wouldn't you? Yeah, look at that. Oh, I like that. <laughs> you know, you'd you'd have to make it so you can tie it in the back or make it um on a on a small piece of elastic, attach it to a piece of elastic like this big, so you can pull it over your head and then have the elastic work for you in the back. But yeah, look at that. I mean, it's only just put on my hair, it's not even sort of <sighs> I'm just going to sit here and drink tea. <laughs> I feel quite royal now. Hmm. <laughs> exactly for a belt. Yep. Bracelets. Yep. Christmas tree. Yep. Oh, yes, have a bow showing on the side. Yeah, that would be nice as well. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Paula. Oh, yes, great long chains, Christina, exactly. And then tassels on the end and then tie it all around your hair. And oh. <laughs> The ideas are just, you know, just, and if you then have that in a colour that goes with your outfit, perfect, you know, coordination to a tea. <laughs> Drink tea. <laughs> mm. And it would be a great gift as well. If you know someone, you know, like, like, like you know, like long hair, and who ties it up, then you know that they'll be able to do that. So, yeah, I mean, I've got the stuff hanging in the back here, of course, because I haven't tied it up. Um, our Facebook group is called Ophelia Talks. Nathan, of course, what else? What else did you expect? Everything's called Ophelia Talks. We have a page called Ophelia Talks on, crochet, on Facebook. We have a a group called Ophelia Talks and of course we have a website and that is called Ophelia Talks Crochet and on the website you will be able to find lots and lots of inspiration and products as well because we sell yarn to make all these gorgeous things so this yarn you could find there this some of this you could find there the Second Chance, the Starcraft Special DK, and also on the website we have a blog. And that's where you will find, look, these pattern or these lists. Because generally the lists that, I'm sorry, generally the pattern is the video, right? Because that's how it all started. That is what Ophelia Talks is on YouTube. So that's the pattern. And then sometimes, you know, it is just too difficult for me to show you in the video 
like for instance the table with all these colors you know yes there will be a hundred of course but i can't show you that online um you know on youtube on the video so all these lists of colors you will be able to find in blog posts which generally are published at the time the video becomes live. So these two here are already published. This one will become published on Friday. So Wednesday, the lookbook, Friday, the tutorial. Oh my goodness, there's lots of people joining, it seems. <laughs> Hi, Benedict, how are you? Yeah. Great stash buster, exactly. Patchouli fair. So the dresses, the the few the, the I think I got three dresses from them. They're all in the video, uh, and it's called Patchouli Fair. And um, that's where I, I do you know what I should have gone to their website and had a look if they still do them because. It was a little bit like, I don't know, it seemed to be that they had um, limited editions, you know, not very many of all the dresses that they had. So, yeah, that's where I got them from. And I did get them around Easter because I was thinking about summer and I thought I'm just going to get these dresses and I am sure I will be able to do something with them. And oh my goodness, you've loved the dresses. I am so pleased that I got them now because I was a little bit, you know, sort of too colorful. It's, it's not, they're not, how should I say it? They're not colorful. They are, but they are too colourful for me, almost, you know. Um, I'm not usually that colourful. I will have a pattern dress, but I stick to sort of, you know, the same shade, like blues. So this is quite um, a different type of dress for me. Um, and yeah, last week I wore the yellow one. Again, that's not a colour that I would usually buy, you know, or wear even. Um, oh, hello, uh, Vinita, how are you? Yeah, they are colourful, but not bright, exactly. But again, Sandra, too colourful for me almost, you know? Um, so I, and then, of course, I've got the other one yet to wear, the blue with the yellow flowers. So I will wear that next live, okay? Um, and, yeah, with the ones that I made for that dress then. <laughs> Thank you, love to craft. Yeah, I mean, Christina, yeah, they are busy prints, but generally I keep it to less colours, less colours, <laughs> or plain. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm really enjoying having the colourful dresses, and it's summer, so it's lovely to wear it, you know. Thank you, Becky, thank you. Yeah, a bit too busy, Katura, maybe, yeah, but... Then I saw myself in the picture and in the footage and I thought, it's okay, they look okay, so I'm, I'm happy now, you know. <laughs> um, but yes, so I will wear the, the third one next time, okay? <laughs> yeah, solids. I, I like wearing um, one colour. Oh, you know what I'm like, you know. I like wearing one colour because then it's easy to coordinate because here you sort of so many colors you know <laughs> but it works it seems to work with these dresses so yeah i'm really pleased with that and they're nice and long as well they're cotton they're just um and they're really you know reasonably good quality cotton so i was really pleased with them thank you kelly thank you I want to grow, you know, Kelly, I, 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 I don't want to change for, you know, and I don't want to wear anything that I wouldn't, you know, but I, I want to grow in my colours. I mean, I used to wear all black all the time, you know, so I have come a long way from that. And with, um, with showing things for you, you know, with projects that I make, I do want to step out of my comfort zone and make things in colour because, of course, that's what I know that all of you would like and 
tastes stiffer and I have to cater for that. You know, even if I don't like a color sometimes, I will still make it or I will still try to make it in that. And in the end, I love it. So, you know, it, it helps me to grow as well in... Um, in what you know in what you in what what i wear in what you go outside in basically <laughs> yeah exactly christina yeah oh wow deborah well done working on the border of the hexagon blanket keep it up <laughs> maybe you'll get it finished <laughs> so today's um title of the live was to crochet or not to crochet. Now, there was a particular situation um, that I had in mind because next week we are going. Oh, our change buds change every, our taste buds change every seven years. So maybe our taste changes as well. Really? Oh, is that why I never used to like avocado and now I do? <laughs> okay, so how many years have I liked avocado? So then it'll be over soon. <laughs> oh. Yeah, exactly, Josephine. If you wear lots of ne colours, the necklaces go with it and it's perfect. Yeah. So, yeah, so next week, actually tomorrow, Dirk and I are going to visit our parents in Belgium. So although I have been to see my parents in November because my mum wasn't well, Dirk hasn't been there for like three years. And of course we're taking the kids. So they haven't seen their grandparents since summer 2019. And it's 22 now. Um, and of course it was various reasons but also because of course they're students so they can't always just go and see them and whenever they could there was restrictions you know so finally they have finished with their exams and their years are finished so I mean Rachel's still doing her masters but Thomas has finished so finally we are able to take them to see their grandparents so next week that is where we will be so at some crazy hour on tuesday morning <laughs> we're going to be picking them up and then driving to the tunnel and then driving to the middle of belgium uh where we where we grew up where we live and lived and uh where our parents live and so yes that is um going to Yes, so that's going to be happening next week. So next week, Sunday, they will not be alive because Dirk's mum is taking us all out for dinner. So, and I'm sure my parents are doing things as well. And, you know, we have to go and see friends and family. So we will be quite busy. So my question is, to crochet or not to crochet? <laughs> Am I going to take my crochet to Belgium? <laughs> oh, I can see there's some questions. Okay. Um, my parents, or oh, our parents, live close to Leuven in Belgium, in Brabant. Uh, and we both, Dirk and I, we both uh, grew up there. We are driving. We are driving because, of course, yeah, we're taking the kids. There's a boyfriend coming along as well. And of course, I've got yarn to take. <laughs> uh, here's my mum. Look, she's saying the bed and breakfast is ready. She's got my bed ready there. She's got the kids' beds ready. And Dirk is going to stay at his sister's. Um, I can whip out necklaces for everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, Alison. I can't. I mean... Whenever I say to crochet or not to crochet, the answer always is crochet, right? There's never any, never any question about it, to be honest. But of course, you know, you had to, I had to ask, you know, what would you do? Would you take it? Would you crochet? Would you, you know, 
yeah crochet see the thing is we are driving through the night so i'm not really sure whether i'm going to be able to um to actually crochet because i might not be able to see anything but i'm packing so this this is my box of necessities tripod for filming oh i'm going to have to take this off because it's falling off tripod for filming my 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 notebook my diary my agenda you know what am i looking for i am looking for i thought i'd put it in here i have a headlight <laughs> and i thought i could wear that on the oh not like that obviously oh not like that either yeah look i could wear a headlight maybe it will work <laughs> maybe it will not work <laughs> we will see <laughs> oh. but yeah i thought i would um Oh my goodness! You came to Devon, Sandra, and you never came, you never let me know. <laughs> I look like a minion, yeah. But you know, if I have to crochet in the car, that will be my savior. I mean, Dilig will let me put that light on, but I don't like the, you know. I haven't got any, Cindy, and I'm not too sure. I do like my higher, higher hooks. So, yeah, it's a little bit, um, do I go for a different hook or, you know? A neck light, yeah, but I haven't got one, and it's too late now to, <laughs> to order one. So, <sighs> anyway, so, yeah. So, I thought I would fill up my um, project tote. Um, with some of these things that I want to take, like for instance, some business cards, some recipe um, cards, so I can make something there. Um, yeah, I mean, Bridget, you do still need a, a, a bit of light, don't you? I mean, sometimes you do still have to look to make sure you're not sticking it in the wrong place. <laughs> I have already in here my lacy, all kinds of things. So, you know, everything that I sort of, you know, like a little notebook, just to make sure that I have everything to hand. So, yeah, I'm hoping that that will serve its purpose while, um, you know, sort of in the car. But, yeah, the thing is, I need, I mean, I need to, you know, some of those create something on an updo it or another card. Oh, Karen, don't worry. Don't worry. Um, I mean, I, the thing is, uh, we're thinking of sharing the driving so we can just, you know, we don't, neither of us get too tired. Um, and I'd rather just get there and not worry about it, you know. Um, Sand with blankets too. Some of those, something on another card. I don't know. Joni, you've got to explain direct to your page. Joni, explain, please. You're talking in riddles that you sent with blankets. Well, the cards that I sent with blankets. The postcards. Sorry. <laughs> Let me go up again. Yeah, so we'll see. I mean, I can put the light on in the car if I have to crochet as well. Uh, but we'll we'll see. I might just snooze. <laughs> I might just snooze and uh, see um, that I can, you know, 
then I can take over the driving so we can keep going. Um, it takes about after we've been to the tunnel through the tunnel it takes about two and a bit hours uh to get to our parents so it's not too bad um yeah the postcards are sent with the packs cute cute uh, cr yes i put the qr codes um yeah we are going by euro tunnel Oh, Jan, we're going to our parents in Belgium. It takes 35 minutes to go under the tunnel. So you uh, drive up at the Euro tunnel, you go into the train and you drive with the car into the train and then the train takes um, 35 minutes and then you're out on the other side. And then once we're on the other side, it's about two hours drive. <laughs> yeah, Julie had a note. <laughs> She was allowed to be late today. <laughs> oh, yes, Mandy, always, always the tunnel. Yeah, uh, the ferry, it's really difficult. Um, Isn't it better this week? Anyway, we're driving there tomorrow, so it should be fine. Ah, okay. Until you get a head a headache from the strap on your head. Actually, I have used that before when I first started crocheting. I put it on my head and I crocheted. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So that does mean. Uh, there are, yeah, I haven't got sea legs either, Mandy. No. Yes. So Werchter Classics is this week. Big Werchter is next week. Yeah. But we're not, we're not um, sort of, you know, we're not in that. We, we are in that area, uh, but not, of course, this, you know, this, um, that side of the week. We are doing that tomorrow or the day after. Monday, Tuesday, we're traveling. So um, Alison, Leila stays at home. On her own, she loves it. She has a quiet week at home and she has uh, her friend come to visit her every day, every morning and every evening. Uh, we have Russell, who has been looking after Layla since we moved here. Uh, and he comes in, gives her a little, you know, her drink, her food, looks after her litter tray and gives her a little brushing. She's not listening, uh, but she loves him. She's been, you know, she came to, he came to get the key earlier um, on Friday and she was like, oh, are you back again? You know, um, so yeah, he, uh, she loves him and um, he loves looking after them. I mean, you know, it's a paid service basically because uh, we always do that um, and we have been since we've moved here. So, um, you know, it works. And she, when we get home, um, you know, you, you sort of open the door and you expect either, um, you expect either a face, you know, like, oh, you left me on my own, you know, or you expect her to come running down the, down the, down the hallway, you know, to greet you. But none of that. She's like, oh, you're back. Okay, then. <laughs> She's as cool as a cucumber. So, yeah. Yes. Um, she does journey. She has her holiday home in the utility room. She loves it in there. Even on hot days, she's in there. It's like a, a conservatory. Oh, my goodness. And she goes in there. And I take her out sometimes, but she goes back. So, you know, she can go wherever she wants. And, yeah, she's she's fine. She's she's age her age. And she's happy, you know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, she's been... She's been uh, having uh, Russell come look after her for all all the time. Any time we go away, we do this. Um, so it's fine. She stays at home. Yeah. Yeah, they do, Joni. They sh certainly do. Yeah. <laughs> <Fake -y. laughs> oh. 
Mmh. Yeah. Yes, Mandy, exactly. Uh, we don't want to... I mean, we think Leila would be okay, actually, to take her to one of those sort of posh cat hotels. But to be honest, I don't know whether there's any here. Um, and the thing is, you know, she's better here. She's... Yes, yeah, she's on her own, but she's in a, a familiar environment and um, she's fine. Um, we've not had any problems. I get my bag out a couple of days beforehand. So it sort of, you know, is, is sort of announced almost. But with Ray, it was more difficult. He would suss it out and he would pull a face, you know, but she's fine. She doesn't mind at all. Yeah, she doesn't mind. Yes, Ingrid, exactly. She's qu queen of her own castle when we're away. Um, and we, you know, we sort of make sure that the area is safe for her. Some doors are closed, like for the office and the bedroom. But, um, you know, she can, she has a free walking throughout the rest and she's fine. She's fine. I think she sleeps a lot when we're away because she's like, mm, you know, uh, but she's fine. Yeah, yeah, having a pet sitter. And I mean, it was pure coincidence that the first time I had to leave the two cats, um, I had to go back to Belgium to collect Dirk because he um, had to come over as well because he had to stay for a bit longer in Belgium when we first moved over. And I just thought, well, I'm going to, I didn't know anybody yet. So I thought, well, I'm going to need a pet sitter. And I found one online, local. And as you know, coinc pure coincidence, he's the best ever. Um, we've had him for every time that we've been away, except one. And that one was because he takes two uh, holidays a year. So one week here and one week there. He lets you know in advance. And of course, we were going away on the same week. And yeah, it was pure coincidence. And the second day when we were away, so there was somebody else looking after uh, Ray and Layla. And the second day we were away, I got a text saying, and Ray scratched me, you know. And I was like, yeah, but I told you he scratches. And so Russell never had that problem. He said, yeah. And then I asked him, how does he deal with uh, Ray? Because obviously Ray was quite a, you know, not very friendly cat. And he said, no, I, 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 I you know, I give him attention on his terms. If he wants attention, if I notice that he'll come and ask for attention, I give him attention. And the other lady looking after Ray at that one time, she demanded attention. She was, you know, teasing him or whatever, touching him and, and stroking him. And if he doesn't like it, he gives you his signature. <laughs> so, you know... Yeah, even Karen knew not to bother Ray. Whenever she comes in, she would Karen would say hello to Layla quite extensively, but Ray, she would say hello Ray, you know, from a distance and walk on and not even touch him unless he comes to you and, you know. Yeah, he came to you and then yeah. So there is, you know, there's a way of getting to know your animals and I told Russell all about Ray and Layla and he took it on board and he, you know, perfect for all those years. He's been looking after them perfectly. I told that lady that one time exactly the same as I had told Russell and she didn't listen, did she? Anyway, that's pets for you. That's knowing them. And, you know, if you look after somebody else's pet, you have to, you know, listen to what the owner says. Yeah, sometimes, exactly, Brittany, it's nice to have a friend to come and live in your house to look after your pets, isn't it? Yeah, I'm hoping to be able to do that with my kids <laughs> soon, you know, when we go away, they come and stay here. But of course, yeah, we live so far apart. I hope that, you know, with a job or whatever, you know, they might not be able to do that. But there we go. <laughs> Oh, my goodness, a spike. Do you know, often we have thought we want to put a camera to see what she does during the day. But, you know, that's how it goes. Yeah. 
Oh no, Julie, she fed her the wrong food. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wow, yes, a great pet sitter and now she tends to your plants. Fabulous. Yeah, my pet sitter doesn't do that. I think I'm, he does collect the post. <laughs> I think I need to educate him on the plants. <laughs> Hello, Bindi. Hello, hello. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Right. OK, so we've covered the fact that we're going to Belgium. We've covered. Yes, Layla is being looked after. So next Sunday, they will not be alive. So I will leave you all in peace. OK, for a Sunday. Then the week after, on the Wednesday, we will have, yes, the second way of joining these squares. Okay, so this is the video for next week. But then the week after, we will have a video on joining squares invisibly. And then next Friday, so not this Friday, but the next Friday, I have put my sunflower blanket out again because... Can you see there's something happening with this square here? Can you see there's something different with this square? I have made... Yes, 3D. I have made the sunflower 3D. So, yeah, and, and these can be interchanged with the squares. They're exactly the same pattern. Okay, so you can put these in between. If, just in case you've started making your blanket, stop. <laughs> stop for now, okay? If you want to do the 3D, then start making them 3D as of the video being published in two weeks and then you can put them together they will work together in the same blanket okay um yes and if you haven't started of course now you have the choice i mean i know i know i know i should have done this straight after this publication but i hadn't come up with the idea it was only what two weeks ago that i thought why didn't make this 3d and i had the you know the inclinations the, the the idea straight away of how to do it so yeah i mean sorry i didn't do this earlier but i thought well it's never too late because this video you know this pattern everybody can you know still be making it um yeah paula so you will so the thing is jeanette um i think you will not need that much more yarn you will need a little bit more of eucalyptus but um if you so the the pack of yarn is worked out so that you can make just about a hundred of these 2d squares so if you make your blanket like 80 squares then you'll have plenty to make them in 3d okay um so I know, I know, but, 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 so these are purpose made 3D, how come I've got that there, 3D on the blanket, on the blanket, so, darlings, I also tell you how to turn the 2D, where is it, where is it, into 3D. Yes, you can, if you have already made them, you can still turn them into 3D. <laughs> I thought I have got to come up with a way so that they can't say to me, but Anya, 
Yeah, I made them all and now I want them 3D. Well, you can. You can, right? So you can make them 3D if you wanted to. Yes, um, Alison, just put them, make them 3D somewhere, you know, in, in other places or something. Or make a cushion and then put more 3D into your blanket or something like that. But yeah, I mean, I'm sorry I didn't do it sooner. Um, but you can make them 3D even if you have made them 2D. You can make them 3D straight away as well. Okay, so I hope you will <laughs> you will forgive me for not doing it any quicker, but I hadn't I hadn't come up with the idea. So that's why I thought, well, I am still going to to you know publish it. I'm still going to make it because I think people will still love it. So there's always um, always a possibility, you know, if you're making this later or if you're making it again. Um, there we go. You can make them 3D. So I had, I mean, this blanket, I've so enjoyed making it. And now having a 3D version, just lovely. I mean, yeah, I've only done, obviously, I've only done one little flower 3D on here. Um, somebody asked me earlier, are you crocheting anything for fun for yourself? And the thing is, I just... I don't have the time, to be honest. Um, I mean, I could sit down and put some more 3D flowers on here. But to be honest, I haven't got the time. I'd rather just give you the idea and the video for the inspiration than me having to do it. OK, because I am working on something else. What do you think I'm working on right at this moment? Well, not now, obviously. <laughs> but I am. Yeah, you can add the 3D to the squares. Oh, we're here. Look, look, look. Hey, Leila. Hey, Leila. Okay. Look, look. Look, darling. Oh, there we are. Yes, this is the blanket, isn't it? Oh, look, I was not prepared for this. Shall we ha Shall we get the other blanket, darling? Hmm? Let's go do it, want? Ha, 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 ha. Leila, come. Leila, come. What are you doing? I think she heard me talk about Russell. <laughs> come on. Come on the blanket. Come on. There we go. That's better. There we are. Look at that. <laughs> yes, Ingrid, I am. I am. Yep. Kaylin, there is a cow coming to the channel in the autumn soon. I know, I know, it's only just summer, but, you know, that's how it goes. If you have to make a large, large blanket, um, you know, the pattern has to be written, the pattern has to be tested, videos have to be made. Oh, my goodness, so many things. Then, yes, um, you know, I do have to start doing that now. So um, I have been working really hard on it. I've done the pattern. I've done the colours. And I am starting week five. <laughs> I, yes, Katie, you can. You can. I've shown you just now. I can't show you now because Layla's on me. But underneath, I'll show you in a moment when she jumps off. She's licking my fingers. Underneath, um, there are... <laughs> are you working on the next cat? <laughs> Um, yeah, underneath there are there's the blanket with the 3D flower on it, which I turned from 2D to 3D. So you can. The video will tell you all about that. Um, yes. So um, yes. So the next cow is 
I'm making it at the moment. I'm really, really enjoying it. I mean, I am so enjoying it. Um, there's going to be a lot of things to go with it. Oh my goodness. I am so, so excited about it. Um, so yes, I'm really, really pleased that I am already working on it because obviously that's how it goes. Um, I have to work in advance, certainly for the cows, because of course, um, you know, I have people, I have, it has to be tested. It has to be tested. So it needs to be finished so that people can test it. So there we go. Yay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's how, it, yes. I mean, you might think it's a long um, time in advance, but it's not. It's certainly not in, you know, in my you know, in my uh, projects and in the things that I'll be doing, uh, I am going to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> so the thing is, yeah, I am doing something for fun. I'm making a cow. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I'm so enjoying it. You know, I've I've been, how should I say it? I've had the same feelings, I hope anyway, that you would have like, let's do another row, let's do another row, you know? Um, and yeah, I've loved working with the colors and they've worked out so well. So yeah, uh, mm, purple, is there purple in it, Karen? Yeah, let's say there's purple in it. It's all purple. <laughs> September. The cal will begin in September, as we usually do, um, Linda. Mm. Oh, yeah, somebody said as well, in Anya's world, exactly, uh, it will be, um, it's time to start the cal. It's, ta it's time for me to finish the pattern, you know. Uh, yes, um, hopefully I will be. I will be going to um, a yarn shop in Belgium. I'm hoping to film that as well so I can, you know, show you things. But also I have a couple of finished projects. And I am planning on filming the lookbooks for them in places where I used to go where we used to walk, where we, um, you know, things like that. So like the the, the park in Aarschot or um, Elsenhof or something like that. So I'm hoping to go out uh, with a couple of projects that I'm taking with me that I've just finished. And then I can show you some locations in Belgium, you see. Oh, Jan, I'm sorted all. I'm all sorted with testers. Don't worry. It's fine for now. Yeah, of course, Linda, don't worry. I am going to be teasing and I'm going to be talking about it for a long time. I'm going to get you all excited. And when the time comes that we can actually tell you all about it, that we can start selling the pack to you, it will all happen in good time for you to buy it, for it to be sent to wherever you are in the world, because we send worldwide, and for you to have it in time. So don't worry if you just keep up with the channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're in the Facebook group. You will be, you know, you will be notified. You will find out about the cow automatically because it will just come up. We will talk about it in the lives, but we will also have special dedicated videos for it. OK, so it's going to happen. All I'm saying now is start finishing those whips. Start finishing a couple of whips so you don't feel guilty about starting a new cow, about a new project. Also, and who said it just now, start saving those pennies if you want to take part in the cow and use the yarn that I suggest because it's going to be fabulous. It is going, I showed the colors to the moderators, to Karen. I've shown the colors to my mum. Everybody liked them. Everybody loved them. So yes, I'm hoping that you will love them as well. So 
Yes, Joni, exactly. Um, I started doing the cows with quite strong themes. And I want to do that again. But of course, I have my personal stories and I've used them already. So in a way, um, the spring cow is always um, a technique. More difficult, maybe not lines, maybe, you know. And the autumn cow last year, we did the Lizzie. Oh, my goodness. Did you love the Lizzie, right? People are still doing the Lizzie. People are still saying the Lizzie was my favorite cow. So, and that was a particular thing, of course. The Lizzie is my favorite film, Pride and Prejudice, in color. So we'll see what I come up with this time. You know, we'll just have to see. Yeah. Exactly, Christina, exactly. And of course, you know, we do a spring cowl and an autumn cowl. So in between, you'll have time for your whips. <laughs> but yeah, you know, make sure you're ready for it. Fantastic, Julie. She's just finished week four on her pink Lizzie. I mean, Lizzie, do you know, I don't have them all anymore, Jan. I've run out of some of them. I don't have them anymore. So whenever they were finished, we've just used them up to the end and that's it. Yes, Kim, we are doing gift cards. So you can now buy on the website, you can buy gift cards. And you can put your own amount in. And it's a code that will be sent to you in an email. So make sure you say you, 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 you find your spam or you find that email. Right. And then. It will, um, you know, you can read, re, re, no, how do, what do they call it? You can use it up then. OK, so you could buy um, gift vouchers every now and then and then use them for the cows, you know. Uh, but they are there. They are um, on the website. Go and have a look. It should work. I hope I'm saying the right thing. <laughs> if, if not, then Dirk will have to um, correct me if I'm wrong. But we do have gift vouchers now. Now, we are going to be away. Okay. Um, no, no, no. It's not a mystery, Cal. No, no, no. It will not be a mystery, Cal. Uh, in September, but I'm not saying too much yet. You know, you, you want to give me something to tease you with. It will all happen. It's only June still. It's June. I just checked the date. It is still June. Um, it's way too early for you to find out what it's going to be about. But yes, what I want you to know is there is a cow and everything is in the works for it to be published on time as we do every year. So that is what I want you to know for now. Um, and uh, so, no, it's not going to be... Ah, you haven't finished the mystery cal yet. Yes, that was lovely to do, wasn't it? The mystery cal. Well, you better start finishing it, Jan. Honestly. <laughs> but, but, oh, yes, a, a Lizzie in the Christmas pack would be wonderful, Ken. Wonderful. But the thing is, we are not here next week, nor the week after. So we won't be here for two weeks. OK, I will be back uh, doing a live on the 10th of July. But we are not closing the website. Dirk has shown a, someone to take over. So. If you do happen to order something over the next two weeks, you will get sent the pack and fingers crossed everything goes all right and you will get it at the same level of service because Derek has been very busy training someone else to take over while we're away. So do you remember the guy who did my logo and who put this on the wall? Well, Gary is going to take over for packing your packs for two weeks. So if you want to be kind to Gary, you wait <laughs> to order anything at all until we're back. But if you want to test him, order it now. 
oh, I was joking with him. And I said, yeah, I'll tell him that, you know, I'll tell him to order it now, now, you know. And he was like, no, he watches it sometimes, Sandra. Yes, he does. So he might be here wondering if I am going to tell you to start ordering. But yeah, so for two weeks, um, Gary is going to be taking over. Um, so, you know, in a way, if it doesn't arrive as quickly or there is something wrong, just be patient. This is Gary's first time doing it on his own. He did do a couple during the week with Dirk's supervision. All is going well. We're going to train him up so that if we do go away, that, you know, service is uninterrupted. But of course, I want to tell you just in case, you know. Yeah, Dirk. And I have to say, I could hear Dirk uh, training this, uh, training Gary, you know, and explaining to him all the things. And I was like, wow, you know, he's doing really well. So, yeah, no, it's it's amazing. You know, I haven't done this for so long, but, you know, it's just so. <sighs> the way I see, um, you know, the way I see Dirk grow in this as well is amazing. He's doing so many things. He's doing the, the website, he's the product that, you know, and, and him training Gary, it's been lovely. It's been wonderful to hear um, and, you know, how they were talking about it, and this is this and this is that and that, that and that. And he's got a... Um, a whole thing, a thingy, um, a like a little bag full of tape. He's gonna give to Gary to make sure he tapes the parcels. <laughs> oh my goodness! So yes, if you want to test Gary, <laughs> then go ahead and order. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will have to put a picture up of Gary on the uh, in the Facebook group <laughs> so you know who's sending your parcels. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, obviously, we... Um, Katie, I haven't told you, I haven't said yet. Yes, Dirk is trusting Gary with his tape gun. That's a big trust, a big trust. Um, and yeah, we've been trying to educate Gary in this is that yarn, that's that yarn, that's this, that's it. You know, he'll he'll have a bit of a of a shock, you know. <laughs> but yeah, everything's ready uh, for him. We've got some examples of everything in the hallway. Uh, so yeah, so Layla might have a visit of uh, Gary during the day to come and collect some parcels. So that will be nice um, for her as well. But yeah, so I told Gary if she goes and uh, sits on the little bed, he has to brush her. And he went, really? <laughs> he has a cat as well. So I'm sure he will. And he has a dog. So I'm sure he will look after her as well. But I told him, you know, not to worry about anything else, because obviously um, she's being looked after by Russell. But yeah, it's going to be quite the thing. So guys, order from like next week, Wednesday. Next Wednesday would be perfect. Oh my goodness, here we go. There's Layla. Yeah, she's going to have a lovely time, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yeah, it's rather good. Yeah, yeah. Um, a week's holiday of being calm and quiet. Oh, wow. That's what I'm going to show Gary this. Yes, Gary is prepared to do this. So Layla will certainly supervise him. Yeah. Okay, Leila, what, what are you doing? Are you staying? Are you going? Are you crocheting? Are you not crocheting? Darling? Yeah. Oh, we're going. Jump. Oh, okay. Right. That was that then. Okay. So that goes back there. Uh, Katie, this is the blanket, the original one. And I have made one of the flowers 3D. Look. So, yes, you can make the um, original ones if you've already made them. You can make it 3D, but you are able to make just a 3D one. 
from my video. So yes, th that tutorial will be there and I will tell you how to do this as well. Okay, so I will show you how to do this. Yes, uh, Leila will have um, a cat sitter come to see her every morning and every evening. It's Russell. He's been looking after her for quite a long time, for quite a few years now, every time we go away. Uh, but yeah, he looks after Leila. Yes, Leila speaks Dutch, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do cats really speak a language? But I think it's the intonation, in, it's the kind of sounds that you make that they um, recognize. So I do still, um, you know, speak Dutch to Leila. Thank you. So, yes, Ophelia. Ah, yes, Ophelia will tell on Gary as well. Yes, of course, she will supervise him as well. <laughs> He has no idea, does he? He has no idea what he's walked into. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, yeah, no, he was uh, quite happy for us to show him how to do this so that if we do ever go away again, because we might be, we might be going away again, uh, then it would be nice, you know, to have the uninterrupted service for all of you and still have the access to all the things that we sell on the website. So, thank you, Bridget. Yes, I do hope we will have a nice time. It's been a while since we've seen them, so... And I don't have to work this time either. I took the holiday. Uh, I took the days off, so that will be good. Um, I will... We will... We will be checking a little bit on everything, you know, making sure that everything is, is okay. Um, but... Um, Tomorrow, Jan, tomorrow evening we're leaving, so we should be there Tuesday morning. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing my my mum, my dad, of course. And of course, um, I've already uh, organised some friends to uh, meet up with and things like that. So yeah, it'd be nice. Oh yeah, yeah, she's she's back to her old self, Katie. She's back to her own self. And and. I'm meeting up with Zoe. Zoe and I are meeting up because, of course, I have to tell Zoe about the cow. <laughs> so that will be a lovely evening. Yay! And then, of course, Zoe's bringing her husband and I'm bringing mine. <laughs> We're going to make it a date, a proper date. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Right. OK, so thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope you will be having a good week next week. I'm sure you'll miss me next Sunday. But then have another good week where we have these coming out. And then, of course, I will be back for, uh, I think it's the 10th, 10th of July for the live then. OK, and I'll tell you all about Belgium. I might even have bought some yarn. Who knows? <laughs> yes, Zoe, exactly. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have I said everything? I think so. So Gary's looking after the website. I don't know what will happen, but hopefully it will still be there when we come back. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, darlings. <laughs> Bye.